Hey everyone, welcome to my first tutorial for my channel. And what this tutorial is going to cover is how to get started making AI images with Disco Diffusion 5.2, which is a program I really love. Now this is going to be just a really basic tutorial, so we're not going to get too much into it beyond simply how to create the image, how to adjust the settings, and what I'm really going to focus on here is how to adjust the settings to make an image very quickly. So to reduce your rendering time, because how you really learn how to use this program well and make good images is by, you know, getting in as much experience as you can. So making a lot of images. So this, this tutorial is not going to really get into making quality images. This one's just going to focus on speed. And the tutorial after this is going to get into quality. Now, the first thing you'll need to know, you will need to know how to use Google Colab. You'll need a Google Colab account, and you'll just need to know really minimal information there. You just need to know things like how to save your notebook on your Google account, how to link the notebook to your Google Drive, and just things like that. You know, just, you know, how to copy and paste notebooks on your file, that kind of thing. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on the link, which I have provided down below there, to the Google Colab Notebook Disco Diffusion 5.2 with VR mode. Okay, and then what you'll get is this screen here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to copy it to your Google Drive. So we're going to hit this, Copy to Drive. Okay, and now that we have this open up, another thing I would also recommend, you don't have to, but what I usually do anytime I'm using a new notebook, I'll make another copy of it and then I'll save one copy that's set to the default way. That way if I do mess something up on it, you know, I can go back, erase the one I messed up and then copy the new one again, but you don't have to. Now, the very first thing we're going to do is we're first just going to kind of go down here. We're going to click on all this place where we see the code. We're going to hit form, hide code. We're just going to kind of clean this up a little bit like that. and just kind of organize things a little better. Um, don't close this one, that's actually not the code. That's the text prompt. We're gonna hide this. Okay, and this one we're not gonna worry about because we're not gonna be using that one. And then we're just gonna go back up to the top and we're just gonna minimize everything here. And we're not gonna run anything yet, okay? Because um, anytime you're using Google, Google Colab, it uses up memory, so we don't wanna start our memory usage until we're actually rendering. So for now, we're just gonna go in and we're going to edit some of these settings. Um, we're not going to mess with tutorial. We're not going to do anything here with the setup. We're, now the first thing we're going to do is open up this, the diffusion and clip model settings. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to uncheck this. Again, don't run anything. We're just editing the settings right now. This is just going to make our render go a little quicker. And then we're going to we're gonna we can close this out now and we're gonna go down here to part three settings so i just close that and we're gonna here you can change this um, this is going to be the folder where it says batch name here where it will store the files that you create so you can change it to whatever you want for now i'm just going to call it cottage i usually rename this to whatever i'm working on so we're going to edit that first section there in batch name now the next one we're going to edit is the steps what this is is how many times it makes basically a different frame guiding disco diffusion towards the image that you tell it to create so the less steps are the quicker it will render and it will it will cut the quality bit back a bit usually the default steps i use is like between 2 240 so this won't be that bad and it will render a little quicker we're not again we're not going to get into quality here we'll do that on the next one now this one here we're also going to change this is the size of the image in the width height section so what we're going to do here is change this to 640 by 512. And the first number is width, the second number is height. So this will be just kind of a wide rectangle. We're not going to worry about anything else in here except for this cut and batches. Now what this does, uh, it's it kind of divides the image up. Honestly, I'm not really clear on it. What it does is increase render time, the higher it is. And there's a lot of studies that have shown that it doesn't necessarily make the image better to have it higher. So let's just cut this back to two. And then we're gonna leave that alone. And now this one here, we're also going to set to zero. The skip steps, we only use that if we use an initial image. So you can make an initial image. You can actually upload an image and then have this change that image. But we're not going to get into that right now. We're just going to set this to zero. 
and leave it alone. And that's all we're going to do in that section to change. Now we're going down the next section, animation settings. We're going to leave alone extra settings. We're going to leave that alone. Now we're getting here to the heart of how to make the image, the prompt. We are going to create an image here simply by typing a sentence and telling it what we want to create. And you see that the default one here has a beautiful painting of a singular lighthouse, comma, shining its light across a tumultuous sea of blood by Greg Grutkowski and Thomas Kincaid. Trending on art station, then we have some modifiers, some weight prompts and all this, and we do not want any of this right now. We are going to go back here right before this quote. We're going to go right there. The weights, that's really not important until we get into animation. It can be used, but like I said, it's not, we don't need that right now. And then we are going to get rid of this comma. And if you do mess anything up here, you know, just um, load up your default one again. Okay, basically though, we want it to look like that. And now here we are going to just put a cottage in a field. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that for now. And then we're going to minimize this. We're actually just gonna, we can go ahead and minimize this whole section now. And now we're gonna go to defuse. Now here, we're just gonna change two things. This is where you tell the Disco Diffusion to start making the image. So we're gonna change this display rate to 20. This will just display it more often. So every 20, 20 frames it makes, it's gonna show us where it is. And number of batches, how many images it wants to create. We don't wanna create 50, we wanna create one. And that's it. That's all we need to do for this first tutorial as far as adjusting the settings. So now we're gonna go back and run everything. Um, I don't think you need to run this, we can do it. And again, you know, if you do have like the Pro Collab or something, this will all be a lot easier. But since, but this will also help. Don't ever run anything until you're ready to go. So now we're going to run the setup and it's going to connect to our Google Drive, which I have just done. And now we're going to run this. Now this will take a little while. Um, it's downloading the models. That's another reason too why we uncheck this. So it doesn't need to download this. These are models basically with all the images and everything it sources, I believe. Honestly, I'm not really sure on the technical details of how these work. Basically though, the models from here to here, um, they go up in memory. The higher you go up here and same from the RNs. The, higher, the lower down you go, the more memory you're using. I don't think I've ever been able to get this one to use. But right now we're just going to have these two, which will give us pretty quick render times. And again, we'll get into this more once we get into image quality. And it's just showing right now it's still running. Okay, now it's downloading the models, and once it gets done with this, the rest of it is going to go pretty quickly. Okay, and when that one is done, we're just going to go down the list and hit play and start each of the rest of them in order. Okay, and away we go. Now it is going to start to render the image that we told it to create up here in this section is a cottage in a field so it's now rendering now this shows you the amount of seconds it takes per iteration so it's taking about one second here and there's 180 iterations I do have a Google, Lab, a Google Colab Pro account but I'm not using it right now so you should get something um, very close to what I'm getting here so it'll take about 180 seconds so we should have an image here in about three minutes Now you can also see some anomalies here like trees popping up here on the side and the, these are things I will show you how to get rid of in the next video when we get to quality. Right now again we just want this to make the image and then we're going to be done then we're going to make another one and I want you to do that at least probably you know 10 times or so and feel free to change the prompts which I will do after this one's done kind of show you that. And there we go. Now remember our image is updating every 20, so it's going to change a bit when it hits 180. And the longer it goes, the less it changes. But that's it. There we have our first image. Now I want you to go ahead, go find your Google Drive, and you're going to find this file under Google Drive, My Drive, AI, Disco Diffusion, Images Out, and then it'll be the name of this folder you created.
now we're just going to go and and do these about t you know do about 10 of them maybe you know come up with whatever you want um you know you can even go back and do the beginning one the tumultuous lighthouse in front of a shining tumultuous see that but you can also just do stuff like this you know a lake in front of some mounds anything whatever you want just get used to this do this about 10 times so get used to using the program and then come on back for tutorial two and i'll see you next time thank you for watching